Hello everyone, this is Chai of the East and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you on how to edit your videos in Final Cut Pro. Without further ado, let's get started. First is you download Final Cut Pro and it has this 90 days free trial. It's very easy to use compared to other professional software out there. Now let's go to Final Cut Pro. And this is what it looks like. At first, it's kind of confusing, but you'll get used to it. Now let's start with the browser here. This is where you import your music, images, and videos. And in the middle right here is your main preview window. This is where you play your videos. And on the right side is the inspector where you can edit the properties, audio, and add color correction to your videos. And on the bottom right here is the timeline area. This is where you work on your project by adding and dragging your videos, music, and text. Now let's go to File, New, Library, and name it to anything you want. And then from the bottom right here, you can change where you want to save your file. I want to save this project to my external hard drive because I don't want my laptop to slow down. And then what we have here is the library and inside the library is the event. This serves as your folder of all your media files. I want to rename it to let's say footage. This is where we're going to import our media files like music, images, and videos. Let's say if I'm going to add another event, just go to File, New, Event, and let's rename it to Audio. You can add as many event folder as you want if you want to organize your file. The first technique that I'm going to show you is on how to import files to your browser. All you have to do is click this tab right here or press command plus I and it gives you this new window. From here, you can choose the file you want to import and then on the right side here is you can change the destination of your file. Once you're done, just click import selected and all your files will automatically transfer it to your browser section. And the other simplest way on how to import your file is find the file you want to import and then just drag the videos into your browser. From the toolbar up here, you can also change the look of your media if you want it like the list type or the previous one. But I like to use the previous one. And then let's go to the timeline section and let's add new project and then name it to whatever you like. And then here you can select the quality of your video. We have here the 4K, 2K footage for high quality, but I'm going to choose this 1080p HD. Next is on how to add trim clips to your timeline. From the browser section up here, just drag the video you want to your timeline like this, or you can cut or trim your video from the browser first before adding it to your timeline. Just click I for in and O for out. You see the yellow highlighted section over your footage. All you have to do is scroll it to where you want to cut your video like this and type O to where you want to end your video. Once you're done selecting your video, you can now drag it to your timeline like this. And also you can preview your video clip from your browser before cutting it so it will save more time for editing. You can just add as many video clips as you want. If you want to see the preview of your video, just press the space bar in your keyboard to play and press it again if you want to pause your video. There is actually a couple of ways on how to cut your videos. First is click command plus B or click B for blade. Let's say if I'm going to cut it here, press command plus B or you can just click the drop down tool up here. It's either you choose to select trim blade. We use blade for cutting videos or press B from your keyboard and scroll it to where you want to cut. Just click on it. And if you're wondering how to get back to the previous, select icon, just go back to the toolbar up here 
and choose select and then you can now highlight the clips you want to delete now if you want to zoom in and out your project just pinch your trackpad or press command plus to zoom in or command minus to zoom out now i'm going to show you on how to add transitions and effects to your video just go to the button right here and as you can see we have lots of transitions that you can choose for me i usually use the cross dissolve transition in all of my videos just click and drag it to your timeline and put it in between of the two clips that we cut a while ago or you can press command plus t and it will automatically add in between of the two clips you can also add transition at the beginning of your project if you want to add a fade effects and drag the cursor in its side like this if you want to add duration to your transition now if you want to add effects to your videos just go to the button right here and as you can see there are lots of effects that you can use let's say if i'm going to apply this bad tv effects just drag it and apply it to the selected clip and if you want to change the effect just click command plus z or undo from the effects section here you can also see the preview in each effect by simply moving your cursor once you're done selecting the effects you want just drag it to your timeline and apply it to your selected clip and from your inspector up here you can adjust the amount of the effect you want and if you don't want to use it anymore you can just uncheck the box right here or you can delete it just got some unnecessary clip that you don't need and then you can just drag and switch some clips and apply more transitions and effects then preview your video until you're satisfied with your work next is if you want to apply color correction to your video just go to the inspector right here and click this color triangle image and then you can go to color board color wheels curves and who saturation we we'll choose this color board correction because this is the easiest one you can also adjust the color saturation and exposure of your video just go to your timeline and click the clips you want to edit and then adjust the shadows right here in the middle is the midtones and highlights when you're done just copy the color effect to the other clips by clicking command plus c to copy and command plus shift v to paste and this box right here will pop up and make sure that the color board is checked and press paste you can do that to the other clips as well next is adding music to your timeline let's go to our imported music and drag it to our timeline and let's cut the end part of the music to match it with our video what i usually do is i cut the clip of my video to much the beat of my music so it's very nice especially if you're doing a cinematic or a travel video next is adding titles to your timeline let's stop this icon up here here we have generators and titles what i usually use is this continuous effect for my title just drag this to your timeline double click and up here you can type whatever text you want Down here is you can change the fonts of your text, the size, tracking if you want to expand the letters and baseline. Let's add another text and I'm going to use the custom text. Just drag it into your timeline, double click and rename it to whatever you like. Change the font style, the size and tracking then down here is you can change the colors of your text outline and choose the color you want you can also apply transition to your text just to add a fade effects 
Now we are all done with our video. Now is the time to export it. Just click this share button at the top right here. And then let's choose master file defaults. And then go to settings. And I'm going to choose h.264 because this is the smallest file. Click next. And at the top button right here, you can see the progress of your video. And this is the preview. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you want me to make another video like this, please leave a message in the comment section below and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell below to get you updated. Thank you for watching.